children. Hi parents, I'm teacher Sarah here and I will be doing the creative video guide and we are doing Hari Raya team simply because Hari Raya is just around the corner. So before we go into our creativity, I'm just going to share some slides with you. Uh, what is Hari Raya, what's that all about and who celebrates Hari Raya, okay? So here we go. Oopsie. Hari Raya Puasa Team. Okay, let's go to the first slide. Okay, so yeah, during the before the Raya, before the Raya, the whole month is called uh, Ramadan. Can your children say Ramadan? Repeat after teacher Sarah. Okay, say Ramadan. Well done, children. Well done. Okay. So this whole month is the month of forgiveness. So what happened during this month? What will happen during this month? But before we go there, now, do you know who celebrates Hari Raya Puasa? Yeah, if you say Malay or you say Muslim, yes, our Muslim friends celebrate, celebrate Hari Raya Puasa. All right. So yes, this is our Muslim friends. All right, to celebrate what again? Hari Raya Puasa. Just like Chinese, Chinese will celebrate Gong Si Fa Chai, Happy Chinese New Year, right? Or the Indian, they celebrate what? Dipavali, okay? All right, let's see what's next slide. Now, what is Hari Raya? Hari Raya simply means celebration. Yay, party, all right, celebration. And what is Puasa? Puasa simply means Fasting. What is fasting? Fasting meaning to say they are not supposed to eat, they are not supposed to drink during a certain period, during a certain time. So during the month of Ramadan, is the month of fasting. The whole month, our Muslim friends are not going to eat and sleep during a certain time. Not the whole day, okay? Not the whole day, okay? during a certain time. So we, the non-Muslim, if you are not a Muslim, right, during this month, it is good that we respect our Muslim friends by not eating and drinking in front of them. Okay, so now the next question is, when do they eat and when do they fast during the day? Now, saho, what is saho means? Saho meaning to say, before the sun rise, our Muslim friends will gather in the family and eat together. All right, before the sun rise. So they eat before the sun rise. When the sun rise, they have to fast, meaning to say they cannot eat and they cannot drink. So when are they going to eat again? During, they call it the buka puasa. So yes, during buka puasa, they gather together as a family with a prayers and they eat, all right? When is this buka puasa time? This buka puasa time is when the sun set. Okay, when the sun set, then they start to buka puasa, okay? So today, uh, during this month, oh my, oh, a lot of delicious food out there. We can buy a lot, a lot. And one of it is called satay. So today we're going to make satay and ketupat, okay? All right, satay and ketupat. So we are, uh, this is satay. Satay is actually stick of meat that is grilled. And this is ketupat. Ketupat is like a shape of a diamond. Inside is this rice. It is wrapped with uh, these leaves. Inside is rice. Yeah, all right. So we're just going to stop share. And teacher Sarah is going to share with you what to bring out from your craft box, from your craft box. Craft box, yes, and we will teach us around walk through with you what to do in our satay and tatupak craft. Okay, so see you in a while. So, hi, these are the things that you need to bring out from your craft box. This, this is actually the clay. This one, we're going to do our ketupat. Okay, behind, you just have to stick some ribbons behind, okay? Your paper plate, the big one, the big one, and satay stick. Well, for the satay stick, we don't use all, okay? We just take out three. One, two, 
three is a good enough. And the balance, please keep. Please keep. Okay, keep for another activity. Okay, and what else you need from home if you have stapler? Do bring out your stapler. And your coloring patch, I'm going to use, uh, reuse mine. Okay, if you have old one, you can reuse the old one and keep the new one for other project. Or you can use the new one, okay? So shall we go into the activity? So firstly, let's do the ketupat. Okay, ketupat. Remember, teacher Sarah showed you the picture. The ketupat is shaped like a diamond. Or it can be square. Alright, diamond or cross square. Okay, so let's open up this plastic. Let's open up this plastic. We have green paper. Why is it green color? Because the ketupat is wrapped uh, with leaf. With leaf, okay? And then... Uh, inside is actually rice, alright? So inside is actually rice. So what is this green square? So you, how you're going to do is, you're going to put this green square there. So if you put here green, skip green, skip green, skip green, skip and green, okay? So you, so you arrange it nicely. Next, you bring out your glue. So we're going to bring out glue and stick one by one, okay? So this is just glue. You take out, put the glue there, stick, skip, take out, put the glue there. Alright. If the teacher is too fast, please ask mommy to pause it. Or you can press pause and watch again, okay? Sometimes it's just fast. You can take your own time, alright? Next one. Okay, stick. So that's it. That's your ketupat. Alright, that's your ketupat. Next. Okay, this will be shaped like a diamond, okay? So, yes, next we are going to do the satay. We are going to do three satay, okay? So this is the clay. Teacher Sarah took out the clay. So what you need to do is take out the clay and roll into many balls, okay? Take out a few pieces, many pieces. Okay, satay is actually grilled meat. It can be chicken or beef. Okay, no pork, no pork because our Muslim friends cannot eat pork. Alright, so I'm going to just do a few pieces. Pretend this is chicken meat. Okay, pretend this is chicken meat. Make it more small pieces. Okay, you can roll into a nicer bowl if you like to. And then when you're done, just go through here. Be careful, huh? Here is sharp, sharp, sharp. So when you go through, just be careful. Don't poke through your finger. You slowly just go through. All right? And you can press it. Yeah, that's how they, they poke through the meat. Go through. All right? So I think I don't want to put my scat, but not enough. So I think this is enough. Just make it longer. Cover the sharp, 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 sharp thing here. So it won't poke anyone. There is one done. Gonna do two more. So poke through the meat. Gonna poke through the meat. Yeah, your hands will be a little bit dirty. It's fine. Later you can wash. Okay. This is air dry clay, so it will dry when it's hardened. Gonna go through the meat. Yeah, that's what they do. You know, they have to poke through the meat one by one. Huh? Raw meat. Okay. So after they go through the meat, what they do? What they do? They will grill it. They cook it, lah, meaning to say they cook it, okay? Alright. Oh, I have extra one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push this one down instead. Okay, push this one down. Because I've got one more here. So I'm going to push this thing down. And then I'm going to put this thing here. Ta-da! So make sure, make sure cover the sharp, sharp thing up here. The sharp, sharp thing up there. And we are done. Uh, okay, so you go there and grill, grill, cook, cook, cook. So after you cook the chicken, what color it turn into? Let's go into our painting. So bring out this. You just Sarah needs to get water and your brush and we start painting your meat, okay? So I got my water, I got my brush and let's start to paint, okay? So after the chicken is grilled, usually it turns into brownish color all right if you cut so let's take brown color okay let's take brown color paint your satay paint your satay all right paint your satay so let's say your 
satay is a bit burnt. What happens when it's burnt? It will turn a bit black, right? So you want to put some black color also can, okay? You can put some black. Oh no, my satay is burnt. No, I don't like to eat burnt satay. Okay, I prefer to eat cooked, properly cooked satay. Okay, so I'm just going to paint all brown instead. Right, going to paint all brown. And if your satay is not properly cooked, what color is the meat? Red color. You want to put some red? Uh, so can. Oh, this part of the meat is not properly cooked. Oh no, will you eat it? No, it's not good to eat uh, not very cooked meat, right? It's not so good. Okay, so I'm done with this. So I'm going to paint the rest. Okay, let's go. So I'm just going to paint all brown. So my satay looks properly well cooked. <laughs> what about you? You want to paint red? Do we have blue color satay, blue color meat? Ugh. What kind of meat is that? If it's blue, mm. rotten meat. <laughs> is it rotten? Uh, so let's paint brown, okay, children? Shall we paint your satay brown? So when you do the paint, you try to twist and twist. If you need mommy's help, always ask mommy for help, okay? Alright, you can always ask mommy for help or Coco or Jeje is near you. You can ask Coco or Jeje to help you to paint also, okay? Alright, so try to fill up the white spots, slowly paint. I'm down to one more satay. Slowly paint now, children. Teacher is fast, but you can always pause my video and take your time to put to 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 color it okay all right because i don't want to take too long video uh, so that's why i try to do it fast mm. oopsie careful with the water do careful with the water all right so i'm about to done I got one more piece on top this clay will be hardened when it's dry but you can start painting before you is hardened okay you can start painting but gently if you want to wait for it to dry is okay okay i'm done finito all right i'm gonna put myself okay i'm gonna put my sati here oopsie sati here oopsie oopsie stop my sati here okay so we are actually almost done next is we put glue i'm gonna put my ketupat yep and i have my plate of sati so i stick the ketupat next to my sati i have not enough glue so you can put glue or just put it there first, okay? When it's dry, you can put glue or when it's dry, it stick as well because now the clay is wet. So that's it, your plate of satay and ketupat. Please remember for our Muslim friends, you can only book up puasa after the sunset, right? So Jujah Sarah will see you again. Bye-bye. Do share your craft with us, okay? Bye.